Hey gang, welcome back to Ask the Doctor, the series where you submit your questions to us and we do our very best to get you answers. Okay, so the question we're gonna go over today is from Roberta, and Roberta says, I've had peripheral neuropathy for three years and I'm not diabetic. I don't get it. How did I develop this condition? Hi, Roberta. Okay, it's a common misconception that only diabetics get peripheral neuropathy. In fact, nothing could be further from the truth. Here's a basic statistic. Out of 24 million peripheral neuropathy cases in the United States, only one third or eight million of these cases are actually due to diabetes or elevated glucose levels. So that means the other 16 million cases are due to many other causes. So for instance, prescription medications are a huge culprit for causing peripheral neuropathy, especially when you look at medications like statin drugs for lowering cholesterol. Certain blood pressure medications like calcium channel blockers, and those would be um, meds like amlodipine or verapamil. Also, antibiotics like Levaquin or Levofloxacin and Cipro or Ciprofloxacin or any other antibiotic from that family. Also, proton pump inhibitors used to control acid reflux or GERD. These are huge culprits for causing peripheral neuropathy. Now, these medications that I've mentioned are just a few. There are still other causes of peripheral neuropathy like chronic illnesses or diseases. Other factors um, that can cause peripheral neuropathy are things like alcohol consumption. And I'm not just talking alcoholism, although alcohol abuse most certainly is right up there with causing peripheral neuropathy. But I'm talking about even if you drink one to two glasses of alcohol every night and you've been doing this for a year or longer, this will be a huge contributing factor that alone can cause your peripheral neuropathy to develop or to worsen. Also, exposure to toxic ingredients, whether they're coming from your food or from pesticides or insecticides that you're using in your home, they can have a uh, cumulative effect on the body and act as neurotoxins for your nerves. Now, one important thing that doctors never warn their patients about are imaging studies with contrast dyes. Contrast dye studies that you'll see with um, certain medical studies like endoscopies or colonoscopies or even in MRIs and CT scans. These are huge culprits linked with causing peripheral neuropathy and we've treated many, many cases from these. So no, you don't have to be diabetic to develop peripheral neuropathy. Thank you so much for bringing this to light. It's important that we share this information with so many people out there that um, have you know the same questions that you have. So thanks again, Roberta.